The Punisher Season 1, Episode Number 2. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here to next week's episode of The Punisher. Last week, we had the series premiere, and what a premiere it was, man. I think it was a fantastic start. It hooked me. We cleaned up everything that we dealt with in kind of Season 2 of Daredevil with The Punisher cleaned up most of that stuff he took out lance and his crew right we got introduced to a lot of new characters last episode and a lot of new characters died as well danny is still alive i was gonna say around but i'm assuming he's not gonna really be around anymore right uh frank had left that note telling him to leave town after what happened but he ended up taking out everybody else you know the rest of the italians that were all a part of it so i think danny will be safe i'm kind of curious if he is actually gonna leave town or not but I think it was a fantastic start to the fucking show and season. Like I said, they cleaned up everything from Daredevil season two. We got the new storyline going. It's still fucking brutal. It's still intense and gory. And it's still the Punisher, man, which I absolutely love. So I'm excited to see what we have in store for this week. At the end of last episode, obviously, we had what I'm assuming is going to be the villain of this season. I mean, you can like Frank, he's kind of like an anti hero, so I can't really say he's the kind of villain or whatever. But, you know, some of the stuff he does is questionable. But nonetheless, I think the person we saw at the end of the episode is going to be the main villain or one of the main villains, because we also have the other storyline kind of developing, too. But regardless, man, I'm here for it. I'm excited for it. So, guys, I'm going to stop wasting time. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. I hope, I, I, I hope the first episode wasn't a outlier so to speak right i hope we keep up with that quality because god damn man that was for me the first episode was like daredevil season three quality we're smartphones and all that internet crap is how people got by it's so boring it's not boring hey look there it is statue of liberty man these flashbacks they hurt who is this watching maybe the guy from the end of last episode is that why you have to go away and fight Dagger's away has been killed lots of Hodges. How many have wasted anyway, hey, yeah? Don't you ever say anything like that again. You got that? Do you got it? Damn. I mean, I get it. Like, that's... Even though he's, his kids are alive, like, going to war and having to kill people, it creates PTSD, man. So even though he's with his kids now, I'm sure that's tough. Damn, this is him watching the, these memories back. Wow. Damn, he okay. That was a nice little cut. He's on the same boat and everything. Makes him think back to those memories. Wow, dude. Incredible. I love it. I love it. I love it. Is this the same diner him and Karen had that conversation at? I don't think so, right? You moving into the neighborhood? Depends on the eggs. You don't get hmm. many hipsters around here. Well, you still don't, lady. <laughs> Is he moving around now since what happened with the last episode? Yep. Little Italy. He's moving around now. Can't stay in the same spot. That's why, he, like, he tried so hard not to get into it, but he wasn't just going to let Danny die. Hipster! It's for you. That can't be. I'm telling you, this guy just described you like he was standing beside me. He's watching from outside. Probably the dude we saw on camera, or saw at the end of the last episode, watching him on camera. You got the wrong guy. Yeah, I don't think so. Unless I'm not talking to Frank Castle. Hmm. That Don't name. Don't waste time. You're Frank Castle, right? Makes two of us now. Mm. You're more right than you know. You are not the only ghost in this town, Frank. Hey, did you ever get that disc that I left for you at your house? Yeah. You got something you want to discuss with me? Would you, would you come on down here, huh? You need to really know why you can't kill me. Then we can meet. Hundred percent, the guy at the end of last episode, man. Ugh, like a ghost, man. I mean, he knows he was close because he knows exactly what he was wearing. He knows exactly where he was, so he knows he was near. There he is, on top of the diner now. I mean, Frank could probably easily hit that shot. 
wonder if he recognizes him or if it's just like shit somebody knows who i am right because he's been you know obviously he he left that life behind kind of or at least tried to right new identity new driver's license new passport and all that like it said last episode when he was talking to his boy right kurt past always comes back man you can only hide for so long now i'm kind of curious too if this guy is going to be one that wants to actually work with him and ben both benefit or if it's like he wants to use him for his own gain love the intro man daredevil and this show they, they they did a fantastic job making the intros for them man it fits perfectly so so good Maybe this is the guy from last episode they were talking about that got killed. Or is that Frank? The way he just moved looked like Frank. Damn. Ah, oh, I was thinking maybe it was the dude they were talking about last episode that got killed, right? That the government lady was talking about, but I, the way that the way he moved in that suit looked just like Frank's mannerisms and stuff. That might have been him. You know when I put him down, he said something to me. Hmm. He said that what. He said that what happened to Maria and the kids, it was because of something that I did. Something, something I didn't can't help. Scoot over. The dirty bastard would have said anything to stay alive. I mean, it's not true. The truth is, Kurt, I was past caring. That shit that follows you home, no matter how hard you try, follows you home. And Maria, she knew it. She knew it. The kids knew it. Or sometimes they'd catch him. They'd be looking at me and they'd have this look. Thinks it's the things he did, man. Yeah, so that was him on video. Shit. The thing is, nobody slipped. It's just, he literally was able to tell it was Frank because of his walk coming out of that building, and it's all because Frank chose to do that. I was sent a video file of his murder by an anonymous source. He was interrogated and shot in the head by Americans because they knew he was a cop. Mm. Shit. Why haven't you shown Wolf the video? Because I don't have it. I think he's been told specifically to keep me away from it. I found a guy from Castle and Schooner was old unit here in the city. Kurt. A guy called Billy Russo. It's all connecting back. That's the thing, man. Your past can't haunt you. It's like you said, no matter how hard you try, it follows you back home. I thought we could organize something up here in New York. Be a private contractor. There's a company, Anvil, that have all the facilities we'd need. I want you to be confident that you can trust me if I'm the first through the door, sir. What the hell? Why not? Exactly what she wants, man. Oh, shit! Say, lady, I'm what? Not hungry. You got any change? Please. Karen? In this? I mean, it makes sense, but why? Dude, are we ever gonna see Matt or Foggy in this? You're still all hard, huh? What? What the hell are you doing here? Can we talk? Wants to know if she maybe said something, right? Or maybe if she knows something on micro. Dude, Karen's in this. I'm so hyped. I didn't expect to see anybody from Daredevil in this. Wow. I mean, it makes sense because we're still in New York, right? Look, Karen, there's a, there's somebody that knows that I'm still alive. I need to know if you said anything. God, no. Look, this guy, he calls himself Micro, right? Like, that's supposed to mean something. He's been watching me. I think he's some kind of spook, and he's got to be a good one at that because I didn't see him coming. Dude, it's so good to get to see him work together again, man. I'm an old-fashioned kind of guy. I was thinking if you had something, you could put the flowers in the window. I'll call you. Mm. Smart. Okay. Little code. Okay. Thanks for the beer. Yeah. Hey. He's probably the only person Frank is actually kind of close to, right? They got history, man. And she trusted him back then. You know, she earned his trust too. I love that. That's so good. All that can go downstairs now, thanks. Hey, we are getting other Daredevil hey. characters. Good, you're here. Dare I ask? Well, our system has an entry for an unpublished article from a year or so ago, but I can't find the actual report on the system. There, there was a story brought in a while back by a stringer, a real seat of your pants radical. I mean, I was just paranoid, saw conspiracies and everything. But supposedly he had a lead on an NSA analyst who was leaking secrets who went by the name of Micro. And? Mm. His only source was this guy from Holland who refused to go on record. And mm. then, special agent in charge for New York, Carson Wolf, stopped by personally and asked him not to pursue it. I'm 
sure that I still have that article in my office. So if I give it to you, will you stop looking at me like that? It. <laughs> Our boy Ellison, man, I love it. It's always a little sun sun. Damn. Yeah, I for sure haven't seen this guy before. This must be, I, I'm assuming it's probably comic book character, right? Because your father hasn't been here for a year, which sucks for all of us, but his memory isn't some bargaining chip that you can just throw out there in an argument. You understand? I'm sorry, Mom. Is this his kids and wife? She know he's watching. She knows. She knows he's watching, man. Damn. So whatever happened way back then is what caused him to be here, huh? What the fuck? Is this Frank's team? I thought this was like the little testing Madani was doing. Shit. Don't you! It's a hostage. Damn it. Oh, okay, this is a test run. That looked very realistic. Is this your operation? Yes, it is. We run a different space every time. They're a little rough and ready, but it keeps people on their toes. Oh, it, it worked great. Sam, you did everything right. You can't legislate for that one terrified hostage who doesn't listen. When somebody says go, it's all just a percentages game. I'll mm. keep that in mind. I don't trust this guy. Billy Russo. Scummy. I don't trust him. Afghanistan's the simplest place in the world once you stop trying to change it. Mm. My last tour before I went private. Huh. Oh, what unit? Interrogating the help Madani. Damn. I don't think he... I think he's lying. That's why he came and cut in. Kandahar's in your rear view. Don't forget that. Yes, mm. sir. Just making conversation. Maybe this guy isn't bad. He just, he just cut in because he didn't want him to talk too much. Maybe he knows some shit. I assume you can... Talk about whatever you like off duty over a drink yeah maybe this guy isn't scummy it's just carson wolf carson wolf was also the guy that ellison said came and talked to him so okay making making a lot of sense they are trying to just cover the shit up which you know we all figured that and look i didn't go looking for this guy right he came to me care for all i know this guy has something to do with what happened to my family so what do you want what do you want if this guy isn't dirty if he's not dangerous he's got nothing to worry about from you okay please just just help me care me. Frank gets worked up real easy, man. You know, an intelligence operative that got caught leaking covert information. Mm. Called himself Micro. Micro. You got a name. David Lieberman. And here's the kicker. Officially, Lieberman was shot and killed trying to escape arrest by Homeland Security. Mm-hmm. I know he said that, he said that, he said that. He was a ghost, he said that to me. How come I couldn't find this? Well, the story never ran. Why? Because that guy... Carson Wolf got it shut down. Yeah, that's the shit he did. That's the torture, right? Killing people. He's just scared. He's scared of the, the video getting out, probably. I mean, like, he has mask, his mask on and stuff like that, but you can definitely tell that it's him. What the? Oh, my God. Oh, my oh God. I'm so sorry. He's coming to their family on purpose. Kind of came out of there. I didn't yeah. give you much of a chance, you know, so. Your head is bleeding. He cut it. No, 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 no. Yeah, you want to poke the bear, you going you gonna to get some. No. Yep. No, 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 Castle, you asshole. This is what happens. He's trying to bait him out, man. He can either show up or he can't really call and warn his wife. Be like, hey, yo, that man is the Punisher. Frank is smart as hell. I mean, like, obviously, shout out to Karen for the assist because without her, it ain't happening. Look, smart. Turn the phone off. Make him even more scared. Because he wants him to show up. Why don't work your husband in? Uh, he works for the government. He, yep. um, he actually passed away a year ago. Mm. I'm sorry to hear that. So does he have the camera in the picture? I mean, you think, you think you're okay, and then something just brings it all back. He gets it. Uh, I didn't mean to ambush you with the whole dead husband thing. It's just, you know, new people do I lie? But then that feels so disloyal to his memories. I lost my family. Well, 
wasn't wasn't too long ago. And that day goes by, right? You wish things were different. You you, you wish that you had done something different. And then you feel guilty. You know that you're still here and they're not. Honestly, if you walked through that door right now, I don't know if I would kiss him or slap him. Mm, like a reflection of him, kind of. A little bit anyway, right? I don't think Frank wants to put her through anything, though, man, because he understands exactly what she's going through. If you got any tools in there, I, I, I could take a look. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Guess when he's about to leave. I think he genuinely does want to help her. Like, yeah, it's obviously about finding Micro, but I think he genuinely does want to help her, too, because he understands what she's going through. I mean, bro, like, he literally fucked with Frank for 24 hours one time, and look where what, what Frank has already got. He, he's he got people, you know what I mean, Karen? This is what happens when you fuck with somebody like this, man. You know who the Punisher is. Damn, he's going back to his old look. Oh, my God. I mean, like, Frank, there's only one person who knows about you, and he's a dead man, too, so he's not exactly going to put it out there. Like, you sure you want to do this? He's walking different. Oh, uh, is it from getting hit by the car? I guess. At first, I was like, maybe it's because he knows, right? Maybe he knows that's how he's tracking him, is by his walk. That's why he's walking with a limp now, because he wasn't limping right after he'd left the place. That's so smart. And that's why he cut his hair, too, because the facial recognition type thing, probably, huh? Arson Wolf, man. Oh, he's going to pull up here, huh? Maybe that's why he went back to his old look. Frank going to be behind the door when he closes it. Normally how these shots go. Yep. It's definitely Frank the way he's moving. Oh, shit. Bro, he's putting up a pretty good fight. I mean, I get he's he's got training and all that, but... Ooh. Bro, my man is taking a beating. He can take some damage. Dude's a tank. Shit. He's got his mask on too, like in the video. Look, Lieberman was a traitor. He was selling secrets. He was killed resisting arrest. Oh, shit. God damn it. Ah. Whatever you think. Stop. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Get on your knees. Do it! Frank, bro, you slipping. <laughs> Damn. Frank, you're slipping. Holy shit. You don't know how to die, do you? Maybe he did not let himself get caught on purpose. Exactly where to go to get you. You bored your squad shitless talking about your homecoming tradition. Picnic in the park, Frank? You really were your mommy's little apple. Damn. Pie, weren't you? So they did Crazy. do it. They did go kill him. Him to get to me. Misdirection. A good player hides his hand, Frank. We figured if there were enough dead bodies, nobody would really care to look close enough at any given one of them. We thought you were the one that sent him the tape. So someone did send him the tape. Couldn't empty asshole. Damn. So he let himself. Yeah, bro. I was like, that's so off for Frank to. To slip like that, man. He wanted answers. Wow. Damn. So now he really feels like he did get his family killed. Damn. Now he really is going to feel like he got his family killed, man. If I finished my last tour and I know I couldn't go back. Not in uniform anyway. You never said who you were with. Was he with Frank's group and maybe he was the one who gave the tape to David? Frank Castle was my best buddy. I guess that wasn't in my file, huh? A lot of those kills I got in one night. He took a lot of people with him. What, drug dealers, gangsters? Good. You shipped out, Castle didn't. Did he get dirty? Stand anywhere long enough, it'll get dirty. Unless you got something good to hold on to. Frank had that taken away. This shit, this story picked up real quick, man. Here's what we're gonna do. Honey, you stop talking. I'm sick of hearing you talk. I'm calling the shots now. I'm going offline. Exactly one hour you're gonna call me with the cell phone number that I can reach you on. You got that. 
Damn, man. You see how quick Frank turns things on people, man? This dude is a fucking professional hacker. Everything. And he still got him. That's how good Frank is, man. Turn this shit on him in less than, what, 24 hours? Yeah. 41st Street, Doc. 20 minutes. Yep. Multiple locations in case he is being tailed or something or he has someone following him. Your boy's on his way. He's clean and alone. 2002 Blue Chevy Impala. Yeah, he's not expecting any high-speed chases, that's for sure. Mm. Helping him out. Hey, he did say he would have helped Frank before if he asked for it, and he's helping him now. Why isn't he here? He decided he doesn't like what you're selling. Mm. Frank's in the wind. If you try to find him again, he will visit Sarah. Hey, at least he has a couple people on his team he can trust, right? He has Kurt still. I wonder if maybe Frank came to his place, his hideout. He has Kurt and he has Karen. I I'm so glad we got to see Karen in this. Like, oh, uh, same with Ellison. I did not expect it. It just goes to show you, man, no matter how smart Micro is, there's levels to this. And Frank is at the top of it. He was in the trunk. I didn't expect that. Frank. No. Yep. Well played. Frank looking like, really? That was it? That was all it took to knock him out? Bro, my man playing chess while they're playing checkers. Jesus. Oh. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Season one, episode two of The Punisher is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Fantastic stuff, dude. It's just, it's incredible to see. Like, I'm so glad they've continued on with the amazing storytelling, the amazing dialogue, the amazing, you know, kind of fight scenes that they had in Daredevil. You know what I mean? Because obviously there's multiple Marvel shows out there, you know, and I've heard this and that about all the other ones. I know Jessica Jones season one is supposed to be top tier, but the rest of the seasons kind of fall off iron fist luke cage right and these are all just things i hear but regardless man this i would say so far is on season three daredevil level personally i love what we're doing here man like like i said the dialogue is extremely fucking good the back and forth is extremely fucking good i love when we have situations like this where it's like who can outsmart who kind of like it reminds me a little bit of prison break i think uh, what was it season four right when you had uh michael going back and forth with the other dude it's been a long time since i watched it so i forget names but kind of reminds me of that it's literally like you're playing chess against the two uh, against two people man and it's so amazing to see but it's like there's levels to this dude you know like even though micro david lieberman whatever you want to refer to him as he's a hacker he worked for the government and everything like that central intelligence or intelligence op whatever you want to refer to him as like i said there's levels to this dude and frank is at the top of it you know, and it's just amazing to see him outsmart him. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's got his people with him too, so he you can throw an assist to you know Karen, throw an assist to Kurt, which I love seeing Frank work with people as well. Obviously in Daredevil, we've seen him work with Karen a little bit, not too much, and it was kind of you know eh, eh, the relationship was kind of just starting out. So I'm work with Matt a few times here and there too, reluctantly, but it's cool to see him work with people in this that he's actually cool with like he obviously does care for karen and stuff like that and him and kerr are obviously boys you know they go way back but it's awesome to see that man billy russo i think he is the one who leaked the tape because uh earlier uh before he killed carson wolf he had said they thought frank leaked the tape right and i'm assuming it's the tape that he watched on his computer um of them killing old boy which uh the dude, um, Madani was always talking about, uh, Ahmed. I'm assuming that was them killing him. And, uh, I think they haven't said it yet, but I'm assuming Billy Russo is probably the one who leaked the tape because originally, like I said, Wolf thought it was Frank, but obviously it wasn't Frank, you know? So I'm assuming it was probably him, but regardless, man, fantastic episode, fantastic start to the season. I'm excited to see where we go with this. Obviously, Frank can sympathize with Sarah, so I think that's why he maybe things would have went a little bit differently had he had she acted different or anything like that. But 
he understands exactly what the fuck she's going through man so it's like he sympathizes with her and that's why he helped her out and everything but this is gonna be very interesting to see how this continues to develop guys let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below like always also if you guys enjoyed this reaction video make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes you guys want to check that out link in the description down below i hope you all have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one what is going on guys i hope you all did enjoy that video you just checked out if you did make sure to drop a like and comment down below what is something you guys want to see me react to next on the channel i want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on patreon man shout out to the homie that's so gordo the homie alexander collins and the homie christopher larimer your guys' support is much appreciated if you guys haven't already and you do want to join the Patreon family, the link is on screen right now, as well as in the description down below. You get early access to a bunch of videos up to two, sometimes even three weeks in advance, full length reactions, and you get to participate in polls to help decide what we do and what we react to on the channel. But I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.